Hello everyone and welcome back to Critical Rocket Chassis Variant Series. We're kicking off a new mech and the best mech, the Warhammer. Yes, we're getting into the variants of the Warhammer. If you've not seen my 6-hour gameplay, that is in the Battle Mech Innersphere playlist. Or the Innersphere Battle Mech playlist, whatever way you want to phrase it. Uh, so we're dropping in the 6D. Now D stands for Davian. And what did Davian want to do when they got their hands on a version of the Warhammer? Well, let me tell ye, dear viewer. Uh, it was an alteration that was introduced in the 2800, so not long after the Star League uh, collapsed, but probably, you know, during or just after the First Succession War. Uh, they decided to remove the SRM-6 and the machine guns uh, to add extra armour, mostly in the legs, uh, so as to keep it upright, and some extra heat sinks. And uh, that was generally the idea around it. Uh, so, in essence, they created an all-energy hammer with uh, no uh, missile or ballistics hardpoints. Uh, in the end, uh, for that extra survivability. An extra 4 tonne of armour is quite a lot when you consider the, the amount of hit points a Warhammer already has, so this became a rather, you know, successful uh, design for House Davian, and later being used by the Federated Sons, uh, sorry, the uh, Federated Commonwealth, uh, when that became a thing. So, uh, yeah, 6D is, uh, it's, it's okay, it's good. I quite like it. Um, you know, it, it takes a lot of the pressure off having to worry about ammunition, about ammunition explosions, you don't have to worry about carrying anything like a case, and from a Mech Warrior Online perspective, it's nine energy hard points. It's a lot. You've got most of them in the uh, split around the mech, but the left torso I believe has three energy hard points, uh, while the other side torso has two, and the arms have two. So the mech can basically vomit lasers, and I'm sure many, many people out there today have you know, long since come across some kind of laser vomit warhammer that's come up against them, and uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's it's an interesting it's an interesting discovery uh, to uh, to bump into something that's firing quite that many lasers. It's I think it's one of the mechs that has if it's not one of the most it's it's up there as being one of the ones that carries the most energy hard points uh, for in a sphere max. Obviously, it's easily beaten by the Nova Prime, which obviously has 12 energy hard points in its arms, uh, split uh, 6 and 6. But still, uh, it's an impressive array of, of options available to people. Obviously, the Warhammer's low-slung arms means that you always have to keep that in mind when you're aiming, but the torso-mounted ones are obviously mounted a little higher up and make it easier for you to be able to take those shots. Um, I mean, outside of saying that it's a Warhammer, you can't go wrong, um, there's not really any other drawbacks. It, it's not a mech that needs an XL engine, but it's it doesn't run bad with them. The hitboxes aren't terrible on Warhammers. They can take a hell of a kicking. Uh, 70 ton heavies are not bad uh, to come up against uh, or to pilot. Um, it's okay speed. The silhouette is relatively um, difficult. Uh, sorry, well, relatively easy to spot at range. Um, so you have to keep that in mind when you when you're moving across open terrain, because uh, you do present quite a flat profile uh, to anyone trying to snipe you. But outside of that, yeah, it's it's yeah pretty straightforward mech. Um, just go crazy with what kind of energy builds you would want to run on it. Um, I mean, even as a stock with two mediums, two small, and two PPCs, you've got kind of an all range attack there. You're never you're never going to be out of options when uh, enemies get close. Heat's obviously a problem even with double heat sinks and um, the endo steel to add more heat sinks as, uh, as I did with this one. Obviously the armor's maxed out and I think it's got a bigger engine so it could run a bit quicker. But yeah, um, that's about that's about that for the 6D. Uh, point on this match, I don't know what happened to the team that I was against. They, they just seemed to sacrifice themselves. They threw themselves against us almost piecemeal. Um, I don't know whether that was the matchmaker just uh, just crapping out and not really balancing it at all because it didn't feel like it was a particularly balanced match. Uh, I, I felt bad uh, for the guys who uh, who I was up against in this one because uh, it didn't feel like a fun match um, for both sides to be honest. When it's that easy it's not fun. Um, but obviously we're getting into the whole matchmaker territory and stuff now and that's a totally different discussion so uh, I'll leave you with the dying embers of this match. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll uh, see you throughout the week. Uh, Critical Rocket, signing out.
acquired. We've destroyed target Alpha. New target acquired. Target 